Hello, I'm Tim from Quiet Woods RV. Now I'm going to give you an orientation on the 31 ml Vibe. Now you got a grab handle here, which is just going to lift up, rotate. Plus you could rotate it over the door if you wanted to. These are going to be steps here, which you're going to be able to adjust these legs here by pulling the pin out here. And then as these rotate up, they're going to go in and you just got to unlock it here. The biggest thing on these steps here is once you're down, is to make sure this is down and tight for your door here to clear. Otherwise, if it's up, your door is going to hit. So it's got to be all the way down. So that's where you get the adjustments here. Screen door here is going to come open, locks on your other door. You got your deadbolt here. This is going to be a friction door, so it's going to be hard to move. Okay, so nothing saying you can't still put a door holder on this camper. Okay, if it's blowing in the wind. Uh, emergency exit window on the door side here, but you could still use this. The window has ventilation. You're going to have four stabilizer jacks, three quarter inch nut. The wider they are, the better it's going to be, the more stable. Okay, this here is going to be your front compartment storage. This one here has two extra chairs in it. For you to bring inside your camper it's already equipped here so if you want a solar panel you would hook this up and run that cable to your battery to charge off the solar this one here also has a vent here this is going to vent your sink so the smell of your sink will be vented out here your awning going to have to allow eight feet for your awning to roll out and then these things here are going to pull down and then you can cant that so water can run off your awning. Okay, this thing will bag up here. So if it catches a bunch of water, you just got to work it off. Okay, try to roll this ca uh, canvas up when it's dry. If not, try to get it out the next possible day. Okay, outside speakers here are going to have lights. Okay, and that switch is going to be inside along with your awning light. Okay. This is going to be your slide out on the door side here. You're still going to want to treat each shock here with a dry rag just so dust doesn't build up. Otherwise, these doors will not hold. They'll fail. Okay. This refrigerator here is going to be electric only. So you're going to set the temperature up in the refrigerator here. It's going to be strictly electric only. You're going to have a water spray port, which is going to be here. This thing's going to open up here. You're going to hook up a hose here and it's going to be strictly cold water. But make sure when it comes time to winterize that you do not forget to winterize this. Okay? Kind of hidden here. You're going to have an outside TV here, so if you're getting good picture inside, there's no reason this TV should not pick up. That way you can watch TV when you're outside here. Your hose and everything's going to be up here. You're going to have a light here. You just push in the center and that'll kick that light on. Outside here, gonna be another vent here. Outside electrical here. Cable, this is gonna be where your furnace is gonna vent. Now this slide is a little bit different. This is gonna be what they call a cable room, okay? It's gonna run off a cable, and I'll show you that once we get inside. Stabilizers here, your fresh water drain is gonna be here, and that's just gonna be low points on the trailer here. So once you're up and running, maybe you got a leak under one of the sinks, you would shut everything off. You'd come over here, open these drains, and that would drain the water out of the lines until you got the leak fixed. Sewer hose is still going to go in the back on here. You're going to have cable in here, satellite in here. Spare tire is going to be on the back. Nothing saying you can't slide this tire from side to side, depending on what else you might carry on the back of your bumper here. This is going to be a 50 amp service trailer. So this is going to be 50 amp service. This thing will unscrew here, half a turn, that'll come out, and then you take your cord with you. This thing is just going to feed in, give it a half a turn, and that's just going to turn back on. License plates are going to go on the back here. On the outside here, you're going to have your fresh water tank fill, which is going to be here, and that's going to work off the pump system. City water connection is going to be here. It's going to be screened 
Okay, you still might want a tight 90 here because these are just plastic. If you're going to filter water, you're going to filter it on a hose before it comes in. This here is going to be your black tank flusher here. So once you get to the dump station, you'll be able to hook up a hose here and you'll be able to flush out your black tank. On this, you don't want to forget to winterize this. This is going to be outside shower, hot and cold water for you to run here. This room is also going to be cabled system here. Now, once you get to the dump station here, you're going to pull your sewer hose out the back. You're going to hook it up here. You're always going to pull the big gate valve first, which is going to be the toilet. Then you're going to flush it out with the gray gate valves. Okay. Hot water heater is going to be here. Pressure relief valve here, so you take the pressure off. Anode rod on these tanks, okay. Inch and sixteenth here. You're gonna, this is going to run off gas or electric. Okay, you're going to have two heat sources on this. The switch for electric is going to be down here, this little black switch. For gas, it's going to be a three-time try inside. You're going to have, if this tank ever overheated, you got resets here that'll pop out, and then the tank will just start getting lukewarm because the reset's not tripped. You can have storage in this slide out here. These are just going to be magnets here that's going to hold the doors. These are going to be what they call slider windows. And these are going to vent water if this ever bagged up with water and come out these weep holes. So sometimes these do plug up. So you might have to just stick something in there and clean it out to allow the water to come out. On here, you're going to have a crank here. This crank here is going to be for your jack up in the front if you had to manually crank it. This one here is going to go on your stabilizers here so you can manually crank those down. And those tools all should come with it. Um, this is going to be your VIN number here which is also going to be stamped in the frame. This is going to tell you your tire pressure here. How much more weight you're going to be able to add on this yellow one here. Okay? And you still want to distribute everything evenly. Don't want to just put everything in the front. On this particular trailer once we get up to the front this cap here will come off and you'll be able to put that hand crank up in here. Otherwise, the light's going to be here. Jack up and down is going to be here. Two and five sixteenths, breakaway, safety chains. Now this is going to have two 20 pound cylinders here. And you're going to have an automatic changeover up in the front up here. So when you're up and running, you can open this tank. And if you didn't want to run out at night, you could open the other one and it's going to automatically change over from what tank you're going to. Just by flipping this switch on the regulator. On this particular trailer here, it's going to have a disconnect switch also. Okay, so once you're done using this camper for a week or two, you can shut this off and that'll kill so your battery doesn't die. You're going to have up in the front here, a light switch for these front lights to come on. So at night, if you didn't want to walk into the front of your camper, you're going to have a light that'll turn on. Plus, you have the light on the jack. Okay, we can go inside. Now, as we come in, you're going to have a light switch here, which is going to be in the hall. Okay, and that's going to show you everything. Fresh water is going to be how much water you're going to put in your fresh water tank, and that's going to run off the pump. Okay, battery here is going to tell you how much battery life you have up in the front. Black tank is going to be how much water you're going to put in your black. Gray, you got a gray too, and these are just universal controls, so you might not have all those tanks on each unit. Your slide out rooms are going to run in and out on these switches. And you're going to have two that's going to control these. And then you're going to have a third one here because this got three rooms. Okay. Awning is going to be on here. And then water heater is going to be here. This is going to be the gas one. So this light's going to stay on, but the fault light is going to go out when you're running this. So once you get the propane on, get the air out of the lines, turn this on. Now you're going to start heating up your water. Or you could turn it on electric on the outside. We don't want to dry fire our tank. Okay. Now this particular trailer has tank heaters. 
So let's say you're all dry camping. You never want to turn on the tank heaters because that'll kill your battery really fast. Okay? We can come on in. Also by the door, you're gonna have a fire extinguisher. Okay? Once you come inside, all these other lights, as you come through the camper, you're just gonna manually turn on as you need to, depending on if you're dry camping or if you're gonna be plugged in permanently. Uh, smoke detector here, it's just gonna be a nine volt battery up in here. Okay, AC, you're gonna be able to turn these AC vents in the ceiling if they're blowing right directly on you. Um, this one here is gonna have a fireplace, so, you're going to need electric to run this fireplace. You're going to turn it on. You're going to set this accordingly. There should be also a remote with this so you can run this. Stereo, this is going to have a remote control with this also. Okay, but let's say there was a fuse up inside this radio. You would have to pull these off. These are just magnets, which will come off. You'll be able to get to these four screws, pull the radio out, change the fuse, because this fuse is not going to be in the fuse control panel. This is going to be Bluetooth, AM, FM, CD player, which will come through the TV already. You got a USB charger, HDMI, auxiliary import, everything will hook up. TV here, this is going to have a remote also. This is going to be, you're going to have to scan it for every place you go. Now on these newer trailers, they're not going to have an antenna that cranks up unless you want one on. You can always put one on, but these are going to have a regular antenna. And they're all going to have boosters. You're going to have to turn the booster on to get the signal to come in. Um, up in the sink area here, always once you get the propane on, you're going to want to light one of the top three burners. That'll get the air out of the lines. There's going to be a switch here which will turn these blue lights on. Push down, that's going to turn them on. Plus it's going to turn the oven light on. So down is going to be the oven light. That's going to be... You're going to have two racks here, which you're going to put this on. This thing, once you put it on gas, you're still going to have to hold this button in. But this sparker will still spark the oven. Okay? Even though that sparker will spark any one of the top three burners up here also. Vent here. Fan. Light. Microwave. Pretty explanatory how microwave works. Pull that little tab off. Set your roller on here. Put the food in hit the temperature you want it to be now by these outlets up by the sink area they're all going to be hooked up to the gfi same as the one outside so if you don't have power out there you're not going to have power here you'll have to go inside the bathroom reset the gfi refrigerator here now this is going to be a newer style refrigerator this one is here is going to be strictly 12 volt only so this one's going to be a little bit more noisier there's really nothing you have to do but set the temperature here and then this is going to run off your battery but if you're plugged in your battery is constantly being charged so if you go dry camping you might need an extra battery to run this refrigerator so it keeps up okay chairs here are just going to be reclinable now if you had to manually run these rooms in they're going to give you a little ah uh, see if I can find one here yeah here. that's just if you had to manually but all the paperwork's gonna be in a bag like this but they're gonna give you a thing like this that you're gonna be able to put on our drill here you're gonna be able to put this up here hook this up to the motor and you're gonna be able to manually run these rooms in from the inside all these rooms are going to run on here so if you had to manually do it the switches weren't working that's how you're going to have to do it um, gas leak detector here this is always going to be on so if you're not going to be plugged in you got to shut your disconnect off on this one and then everything will shut off on this one here if you come up and this thing's going off maybe you didn't plug in your battery, maybe your cord at home tripped out, and that could be setting that off because you don't have 110 power. Okay, same thing on all these rooms here. You want to exercise them once a month, okay? Don't just leave them out for the whole year. Make sure you bring them in and make them work. Otherwise, when you want it to work, it's not going to work. 
furnace controls are going to be here you're going to scroll through this thing here you're going to be out in fan mode first keep flush through you're going to go with the cool mode keep going through and then you're going to hit heat you're going to set the temperature you guys want just because you set it at that temperature don't mean it's going to be right at that temperature um, bathroom here this is where your gfi is going to be inside here so if this thing trips out you got to reset it or see why it tripped out maybe you had too much on it sinks here are all going to have p-traps so you got to dump some antifreeze when it comes time to winterize toilet here this is going to be a straight drop in the tank so this is where you're going to want water sealing here because that's your p-trap otherwise you get the sewer gas smell coming through here on here you're going to have access panels down here which you're going to be able to get at all the p-traps this curtain is going to come across and it's going to have a little clip here which you're going to lock this on this side handheld shower and then you're going to watch how much water because now you're filling up tanks underneath your camper fans going to be up in here and then you're just going to crank these vents open like i said before if the ac is blowing on you you can turn this we can go up in the bedroom these windows here will just open and you can still use it for ventilation here so if it's nice out you didn't want to run the ac you can still use this window as ventilation just comes in and that just locks on here shades here to keep the sun from fading everything in here you always want to put the shades down when you're not here okay closet doors are just going to unlock here and these are just going to come together when you're not using it lights are just going to snap on and off as you need it bed here all these beds should lift up you're going to have storage underneath this one here doesn't have the shocks so you'll have to probably maybe rig up a stick or something or just have somebody hold it while you're putting whatever you guys need in here and that should be everything heat's going to come out the floor ac comes out the ceiling now on all these roofs here you're going to want to use what they call self-level caulk on the roof if it's a slide, you want to use what they call Eternabond tape. You don't want to put caulk on that one. Anything on the sides, you're going to be able to use regular silicon caulk. Okay.